What's going on, guys, and welcome to Hydraenea, a game where we start or buy lands very similar to this. So the first thing we do is we go to our land, and then you grab yourself a shovel, and then you fill this bucket with dirt, and then you grab the pan, drop it into the river, fill it with water, pick it back up, then grab your dirt, and then fill the bucket with your dirt one. And then use your brush, and like magic, you then get ore. And then you take your bucket of ore, take it up to the shop, and then you can see we get some coins. And then you can drop your coins into the bucket at the store, so where you can actually purchase items such as pipes, beds, concrete blocks, lanterns, the construction hammer, and just a hell of a lot more. And, and now in Hydraenea 2.0, they've done a lot more with automation. But I'm no expert in Hydraenea, and this is going to be my very first time playing it. I just know the basics. So without further ado, let's start a brand new save. So here we go. The world is our oyster. I don't have a clue where we're going to start from. I think we're just going to start getting some ore and then try and figure out what we can do with all the pipes and all the other stuff and the cool things that I've seen as well. Um, so first of all, let's grab our bucket and just get this down i i swear to god the best be a way to make it land like that like i feel like just dropping it off because like my ocd is going crazy and i feel like it's flip bottle you know like <laughs> but the funny thing is is i can grab the dirt and i can actually still fill the bucket whilst it's upside down you know because that's how buckets work see and then i can just go into here put my bloody dirt in there and then wait can I do it this way? Does that make... Can, I, can that happen? It can happen. Okay. So we can do it that way as well. And then voila. We now have gems. Ores. I'm going to tip them dirt. And then I'm going to just keep doing this over and over and over and over and over again. Until we get quite a few. Okay. So I've been at this for about 20 minutes now. And I'm not going to lie. It's a very uh -huh. slow process. Like, all I'm doing is doing buckets, going over here. I feel like I'm just handcrafting in Satisfactory, right? And then I'm just grabbing my brush, grabbing this stuff, and then grabbing this and putting this in this pile over here, right? Tip. Can I... Hello? Have I got anything in this? Wait. It wouldn't let me tip. Oh, what's that one? Ooh. What is this? A shard. Mysterious crystal shard used to power mining... Oh. We need to keep this. We need to keep this. Wait. Oh, there's a map. Wait. There's a map. Dig site, jeweler store, stock market. Okay, I've not seen a stock market. Oh, wait. Isn't, there's one. Wait, where are we? Are we in the center there? Like, are we at Bridge? Wait, is this Bridgeport? We're at Ember Cradle. We're in the far west of the map. Okay, so we're at Bastion Keep. Okay, so then there's another town to our south. And there's an... Iron Nil, Bridgeport, South Hope. Some of them have got really big lands. Like Snow Falls, Ice Helm. Oh my god, I feel like I'm about to walk into... Uh, what's it called from Lord of the Rings? Well, The Hobbit, you know? Wait, is this ours as well? It is. Oh. Oh, I've got a little cart thing. Wait, why would we want to haul this? What, would we, what could we actually put on this? Maybe like building blocks, I suppose? Is, this is vehicles, right? Do we have vehicles? Wait. We do have vehicles. Holy crap. Oh, okay. This is Betty. <laughs> We're going to call her Betty. This is going to be our little machine. Well, I suppose this is going to help us transport stuff from A to B, of course. I kind of like the controls a little bit, actually. It's a little bit... Yeah, I kind of like the controls a little bit. Okay, let's kind of park this up here because... I want to sell all of my uh, all of my stuff. Oh, wait. I've lost my sense of direction. Hello? This way. It's going nighttime as well. I don't know how long the nighttime lasts, but I need to pick all of this up. Wait. Where's my lantern? Okay. Oh. Lantern acquired. Put you down there. And I'm going to transfer all of these over to this. The only thing that is a little confusing about this game is, like, the center is normally where you'll pick stuff up, right? Like that. But then you expect it to drop where the blue circle is. But no, in the bottom right hand corner is a circle just inside of the lantern. Now that's where the drop, where it's going to drop. So getting used to that has definitely been a little pain. 
Okay, so I finally filled my bucket. Let's see how much we're going to get. 279. Okay. I suppose it's a start. It's a start, right? So the question is now is what can we buy with that? Because I do want to make my like production line a little quicker because I'm not going to lie. I don't want to end up with carpal tunnel <laughs> because I'm just constantly rinse repeating, literally rinsing the dirt. Can I put that in there? Okay. What can we buy? Wait. Uh, a simple bed. Just for, Okay, let's get a bed. And put this on here, right? So that's going to cost us 24 coins. Um, We don't need a map. Maybe pipes. Forged iron pressure tank. Place a shard or a shard bar inside to increase water pressure up to the same percentage value as the intake pipe. Interesting. A cork. Forged iron hydro tea pipe. Valve. Forged iron hydro pipe. I'm just wondering if to buy a couple of pipes. Forged iron water intake. I wonder if I can get one of these and put it in the river. So let's grab one of you. What a science. It's actually standing up. Maybe not. Wait, can I just leave with this? Nope. <laughs> that answers that question. I was just going to say how... Wait, what, what's making me stop from, like, walking out of here with stuff? 126. 148. How much have we got? Two, 279. Alright, let's go... Let me put it down. God damn it. Huh? It sounds like a bloody Minecraft villager. 170. What else do we get? Oh. Oh. <gasps> TN, the quickest way to see your money go up. Okay. Now we need something else. There's some tools. A saw cuts metal boys clean in half. A pickaxe used to dig terrain fast or split dirt in half. Hmm. 122, though. That is way too expensive right now. Blacksmith hammer cast it. Oh, wait. A small furnace placed down to use can heat up crucibles. That's a crucible. That got wait. So we put ore in this. So we put ore in there. It melts in that. Pour molten metal, and then we pour it into that, and then we get boys. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. We got things to do. Right. Let's purchase this. How much gold have I got left? Sixty-one. Okay. Let's grab the bed. Wait. Have I got to bring all of these over by, like, one by one? No, forget that. Betty. Wait, can I put stuff on this? I feel like I just keep jumping into it. Wait, is this... Have I just lost the pipe? Wait, there's two pipes on there. Is that going to... Wait, they are on there. Wait, it's so dark. Put the bed down and sleep. Okay, that's going to pass time on. Whew. It's too dark. Way too dark. Wait. Oh, it's morning. Okay. It won't let me drop. It just like... Because Q's to drop, right? And because Q's drop, Q is all sort of getting the vehicle. What? This doesn't make sense, game. Like, this... <laughs> this does not make sense. But apparently, it works. Right? So now I'm going to jump out of Betty again. Grab the other pipe. Drop you in there. Jump out. And then put the TNT in there. Then we've got everything. Drive miles to our uh, to our land. We've arrived at our destination. And then we can unload. Right? Then we can just put all of these down. And then we can figure out what we're going to do with them. Fire in the hole! Oh! I didn't expect it to light straight away. What the f*** was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I fart louder than that. That. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. What the? I'm sorry. I could use the spade quicker than that detonated. Like, what the hell? <laughs> that is definitely a waste of money. Well, it did state it's a waste of money, right? It did state, so it's kind of my fault. All right, so with a pipe, do I just put this? Can I rotate? Oh. God damn, it's like a submarine. Rotate. Like that. Oh, look. 
It's dripping water. So now I can just attach that. Oh, this grid system's kind of cool. I don't know if this is new, but it works. Wait, wait. Where's me? Where's my bucket? Where's my bucket? And pan. Oh, I left it at the store. Wait, so can I put this under here? Um. Okay, so I changed the bloody location of the... There we go. Now we have water dripping. It. Wait, so now I can just... Wait. So if I just do this, fill up my, p my bucket. Huh? And then... Can I just put that in there? And then grab my brush. And then do that. And then can I fill this back up again? Like, grab a couple more of these. Because look, the water's still flowing into it. And pick that up. Drop it back in. No, got not drop the whole bucket in bits. And then do that. It does work! Cool! Okay, so I spent a little time digging a hole. And when I mean a hole, it's starting to look like a cave. I bought this new light. It was like 160 coins. Not worth it. And yeah, it's a pain in the butt to place down. Because this is bedrock. It won't let me place it on this. So it's a bit of a pain. But I managed to get some nice like iron copper. Oh wait, it's not copper. It's cloutium ore. We also got some uh, uncut rubies and some uncut sapphires. So what I need to do now is organize that pile and separate them into their own unique piles. Okay, 30 minutes later, we have managed to get it all sorted. We've now got iron in here, gold in there, um, sap emerald, emerald, emerald in there, uh, ruby, and then sapphire right there. And then we've got these uh, power shards as well. So what I need to do now is I want to kind of smelt them, but we don't have any gold. So I'm thinking of just taking the iron, going to going to sell that, and then buying the stuff to smelt the gold and create gold bars. Right. I'm going to say around 300. 604 for the iron. Ooh, okay. We can take that. Hey, that's some that's some good that's some good coin right there. That's the highest we've ever got. Put that. Uh, hello. Is there a hole in this bucket? In. There we go. And then pour you in there, and then let's get some of you. So we want a small furnace. We want a crucible. We want a casting mold. And then it's only 146. That's not bad, to be honest. Can I like put you on there then? Oh, really? God damn it. I thought I'd be able to, like, stack them and then bring them all over at once. Wait, how do I turn this on? Hello? Oh, maybe we've got a... Aha! There we go. We made fire. So now... We need to pour this into here. Let me get a little bit of light. Oh. Pour that into the... Yes! Gold! And then... Stick you on there. Wait, do I need some form of, like, lever or something? Like, prongs? Wait, I'm not sure going to pick this up with my hands, am I? I don't know how long this is going to take. Okay, there. We, we're done. We're done. Right, I'm going to pour this into there. Do I have any left over? Is that all in one? Wait. All that gold went into that... Wait, no. Oh. That looks like silver. It's a gold bar. Right, let's go and see how much this, this is worth. <gasps> 1,003 coins? Oh my god, we're rich. We're rich. We are rich. Now we can buy a lot of things put that in there and then we've got how much in total have we got in there now like a grand and a half something like that i wonder if these rubies are gonna smelt let's try that let's... what the hell hey there we go wait maybe they can't go in here maybe i've actually got it a... oh maybe i've got to cut them open they are uncut, aren't they? Mm, it's... Maybe I've got to use, like, a, an anvil? 
Hmm. Maybe. Yep. Well, forget about that. We have to spend some... Hello? <gasps> Excuse me? Repairs, damn it. Drip. There's drills. Oh, me God. We put a pipe into that for sure, right? And then we've got a, a harvester. Like. Oh, my God. This game has just gone to a whole new level. Wait. Chains are just going to them. Oh, so we can only buy one of each. Take my money, sir. We have some new toys. Oh my god, I can turn the water pipe sounds down. So, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook these up to see if we can get some form of automation going. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm sick and tired of using this shovel and doing it the way that we've been doing it. So what we're going to do is this needs to be powered and it needs water to be powered. But... If I'm not mistaken, these mach these things here, the power shards, mysterious crystal shards used to power mining machines. This is a mining machine. It's a drill, right? So I think we need to purchase one of these. It's a tier one, which that's what that miner is. And it says you just place a shard in this or a shard bar inside to increase water pressure. So I'm guessing we put this on and we're going to need some more pipes and we definitely need some more S-Bends. So let's just start grabbing what we need. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. We got quite like, I got like a T junction as well, just in case we need it. And we got some more straights, bends, and I got a valve as well. And obviously that little thing. So we're going to science all this and see how it works. Now I just need to transport all these goddamn over here, which is going to be annoying. Okay, then I'm just going to put these together. I'm going to move you. Hold on. Let's put you there. And then I'm going to test out the harvester first. I'm not going to use a power shard or anything. I just want to see what's going to happen. Wait, where's my... Is that it? Oh, it's already... <gasps> okay, where's my spade? Where's my spade? Let's just see what happens. Let's hook it. Let's just grab some dirt. Oh, God. Pour you in there. <gasps> oh, my God. Let's go. Um, okay, right. So now we need to get the, the, the drill down. Um, okay, so I think that's going to need the power shard. This doesn't. Cool. Right. So let's remove this. And then I think we might need to attach this. Let's see what happens. Oh. So let's attach that there. Oh. It's pooping. It's pooping rocks. Oh, it doesn't need that thing then. Perfect. Right. So let's let's just put that there. Um, so what we need is um, we need to kind of lower the ground here then, right? Because we need this to poop into the top of that, right? So let's move this stuff. So what the harvester does then, it removes the dirt and spits out the gems. Where this one only sends out the dirt, right? So if we combine that one, it gets washed in here and then gems come out. And then we just place a bucket, right? And then the bucket gets full. <gasps> Hell yes. Dude, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. And I don't mean that way, you filthy animals, okay? So th th what we want to do is we want to connect this up to this. But we do need the T-junction, I suppose, right? Because we want this to be powered up. Because this one can't power from the front, right? So let's get the T-junction. Like... We'll have to get a cork. If I press T and then rotate like that, it's dripping from both ends. I need a cork. I need a cork. Purchase one cork, please. Thank you. Now I just want to plug that end. There we go. Now it's only coming out one side. Cool. This game's getting this game's getting cool now. It's getting cool. There's, there's automation stuff going on, guys. There's, there's automation stuff going on. So, next we need... Oh, no, wait. No, I've done it wrong, haven't I? We need the... Oh, bitch, you bloody spoon. Um, I need this side, right? Because we need to power this. This two Never mind, we've got a spur cork. It could just sit there. Anyway, let's get an S-Bend. Okay, future bits here. I'm currently editing this, and I don't know why I'm calling them an S-Bend. 
I apologize. I don't know why. Let's get back to it. I'm going to take you off. I'm going to extend this, actually. I'm going to put this out a little bit further. And then get the T-junction. And then put that there. Right. Listen to me. And then we're going to put you there. I'm going to turn that off. Right. So that's the, now that's powered. So what we need next is we need you. Maybe I could just get another T-junction. That would be easier. Purchase T-junction. And then slide you into, into there. Right. Right. Then we do a straight. No, actually, no. We do a bend down. Oh, I need to get used to this. Okay, there. Like that. Move most of my stuff over here. And then connect the pipes underneath there. The water's dripping, but it does mean the drill is on this little thin piece of dirt here. So I need to find out if this is going to work. So all I need to do now is just put the, the heart of it. Please, come on, please work. <gasps> that's working. Okay, so that's the water into there and there. What we need to find out now is if this is going to turn on. <gasps> oh my God, it is. We've got it working. We've got it. We've got it working. It's spitting the stuff out like crazy. Can you go into the bucket? <laughs> it might just be a case of we've got a big massive hole full of stuff. Like we have just set up some automation. Guys, we've done it. Let's put that down there. So we've got a bit of light down there. But now that's all gems and everything coming down there. Cool. What I do want to do now, though, is I want to get the valve and then place that. Like, I suppose we can do it up here. Let it connect. It does. And then I can just... Wait. Why is it still on? Oh, wait. Did I just turn it on? Oh, I did. Okay, so that's off. Wait. It doesn't stay on there. I'm guessing right, left. Okay, that, okay, that, that one's off. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. So now... We've got all these jewels just kind of down here. Right? Um. So this happened. I love how there's one piece of dirt right there. But oh boy. At least we can officially say we have automated the process. But now what I'm worried about is I need to sort all of this into their own piles so I can smelt it into bars. But I guess what? That could wait till next time. This has been Hydronia, guys. If you've enjoyed this, remember to like, subscribe, and also check out my other content right here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep smiling. Bye-bye.